Welcome to the Crumbaugh House. Let's take a tour. Here's Rosemary Parker to give us a little bit of background and history on some of the items here. Hi, Barb. Glad you're here today. Let's, this, uh, I'd like to point out, our soldier bear and our topiary. Those were gifts from, uh, for a short time from the Murphy family in Leroy. They look lovely on our porch. We were very glad when they gave us those. As we look through the house, you will see a lot of Santa Clauses. Those are from those are gifts from Steve Dean. Not gifts, but uh, he has loaned them to us for a short time, and you'll find those tucked away all through the house. Uh, this is a rocker that was originally in the house and a gift from uh, Charlotte Crumbaugh Burgess. She lives in Sycamore, Illinois, and she is a niece of JT and Elizabeth Crumbaugh. This tree was done to depict the era that the house was built in, in the Victorian era. Notice the cherubs, the beads, the mauve, gold, bows, and balls. Uh, there is another, another chair that was originally in the house. And that again was a gift, a donation from Charlotte Crumbaugh Burgess. Charlotte's father was the first president of the Leroy State Bank. This was her father's desk. This was a stamp that she also uh, gave the music, gave to the house that her father used. It's a lovely old desk full of lots of pockets and drawers. This marble top table is also unique to the house. And again, Charlotte received it as a gift from her uncle, JT. This tree is full of ornaments crafted by Jennifer Miles and Carla Underhill. You see the beauty and the uniqueness of each ornament. Note the candles, the tree. This is a Davis sewing machine, not originally in the home, but again, a donation from Charlotte Crumbaugh Burgess. This is an original fireplace, one of several in the home, the only one that is still existing. On the mantle is the nativity set, again, shared with us from Carolyn Kahn. Note the intricate detail on the doors and the trim. This Polar Air refrigerator was manufactured by Susan Roebuck in 1903. And it is an ice box. Again, it came from a personal collection of Charlotte Crumbaugh Burgess. This is a secretary that was original to the house. 
Miss on in the secretary our, on top is a photo of Elizabeth Jane Cronbaugh. You'll note a painting of Elizabeth is in the library at the Crumbaugh Library. Um, this dresser set was given to the museum as a donation from Tanya Underhill. It, her grandmother, Gladys Crumbaugh, was a sister to JT. These figurines were given to Elizabeth and JT in, 19, in 1832 when they were married and they were a gift from Charlotte's parents. This over here, note the painting. This is an oil painting painted in this home by Elizabeth. That again was given by Charlotte. And we're very grateful to have this piece that looks so lovely in this room. Uh, this high chair is a piece from the collection of Charlotte Crumbaugh. It is of the Victorian era. It's a lovely piece, as is the stroller. Note the tree. We've termed this the children's tree. It faces Pearl Street. These ice skates belong to Wallace Wesley, one of our famous uh, Leroyans. The, these, note the candles on the tree. They were created by Jennifer Miles. She wanted candles for our tree and we have candles. Again, the unique ornaments created by Jennifer. And please note the poinsettias. We had a lot of fun placing those on the tree. Again, a Santa from Steve Dean. I don't know if we want to make sure we get the, the transoms, the same glass pieces. The original to the house. Beautiful pieces, especially when the sun is shining. Oh, they are. Of course, you can tell the bathroom is a, a a new addition, but note the tree. We get the children at Lagrie Elementary in September folded 1,000 origami cranes as a, in honor of 9-11, Patriot's Day. Most of the cranes were hung at the Leroy, or at the Leroy Crumbaugh Library. The ones that were remaining are now hanging on the tree. Again, you see Steve Dean, Santa Clauses. Thank you. Thank you, Rosemary. That was wonderful.